The nation's external reserves fell by $610 million last month. Figures obtained from the Central Bank of Nigeria on Thursday revealed. The reserves dropped to $41.22 billion as of November 29 from $41.83 billion on October 29. The CBN also disclosed that at the present level, the external reserves could meet the country's nine-month import demand. Figures obtained from the Apex Bank show that the reserves, which had gained $5 billion in October, returned to a downward path in November. The reserves increased from $36.78 billion on September 30 to $41.83 billion as of October 29. The CBN Governor Gordon Emifili said at the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria's dinner in Lagos, quote, supported by our demand management policy in addition to support from the successful issuance of the $4 billion euro bond and the IMF SDR, our external reserves today stands at over $41.4 billion, which is enough to support nine months of imports, end of quote. He said because of the drop in foreign exchange supply arising from low earnings from the sale of crude oil, the Naira depreciated by 7.7% from 380 Naira per dollar to 410 Naira per dollar at the I&E window. A Mayfield said supply was also affected by massive outflow of foreign portfolio investments from emerging and frontier markets, including Nigeria, in 2020. He said the volume of activities at the I&E window fell from nearly $250 million to $300 million daily to less than $40 million in the first quarter of 2021. Ikeja Electric PLC, i.e. Nigeria's largest electricity distribution company, has cautioned members of the public to desist from erecting structures on the power lines of carrying out activities and trading near electrical installation, which in effect exposes them to risk of electrocution. The DISCO noted that proximity to installations such as transformer, electric poles or power lines contravenes the extant law. Therefore, people in such locations should vacate those areas urgently to protect their lives and property. According to the Head of Quality, Health, Safety and Environment, QHSE for Ikeja Electric, i.e., Mr. Jaime Badnos, the warning became necessary because it has been observed that such acts are perpetrated with impunity, irrespective of the dangers associated with such violations. Speaking on the law guiding proximity to power installations, Badmos said that Section 3, Subsection 1 of the Nigerian Electricity Supply and Installation Standards, NESIS Regulation 2015, stipulates a mandatory distance of 5.5 meters, 15 meters, and 25 meters setback from 33 and 11 kV, 132 kV, and 330 kV lines, respectively. However, some members of the public have continued to violate the law making them vulnerable to the risk of unfortunate incidents which sometimes result in fatalities.